Okay, and in this step we're actually going to attach the base to the uh, skybox. So we're going to want to select the skybox, go down to Editable Mesh, under Edit Geometry, click Attach, and click on the base. We do not want to mo modify the material IDs or the material, and click OK. Okay, now at this point we are going to uh, delete all of the faces that surround the base. So we're going to go into face selection mode and select those faces that are underneath your base and just hit delete. We do want to delete the isolated verticals. And at this point we want to actually connect the ground to the base. So we'll go into polygon and under edit geometry we'll click create. You'll notice that the uh, verticals are now showing and you'll just want to connect the verticals. You have to do this uh, three times. You have to connect the first one, to the second one, to the third one, and then back down to the first one. And that'll create your, uh, your new uh, face. Um, if you go in a counterclockwise motion, the face will be created towards you. If you go in a clockwise motion, the face will actually be created away from you. That's not what we want, so we'll be connecting these in a uh, counterclockwise motion. Okay, and once you have created uh, new faces, we're going to make sure that these uh, faces have a material ID of 2 to match the uh, ground material. So we'll change that to 2 and go out of polygon edit mode. As you can see, the uh, material has, uh, the unwrap modifier has changed the way the material is mapped. Uh, at any point you can actually go back in and uh, adjust those again. Um, at this point we are actually going to detach the base and then we'll make a copy of it and bring it over to where the other base is. So we want to go into face selection mode and we want to select all the faces that make up the base. And once you've selected those, you're going to want to click Detach under Edit Geometry. And we'll detach this to uh, an object base 01.